Good afternoon. My name is Eric Raimundo, and I'm going to be presenting my analysis of knowledge management in UNT. To begin, the objective of the research I've outlined is to highlight the understanding of knowledge management used in UNT, as well as the UNT libraries in context to student success, as well as how the technologies work by discussing them in six points, the strategy, knowledge management and data management, organizational culture, organizational processes, management and leadership, technology and politics. To begin, we need to look at what knowledge management is defined. So knowledge management is a creating a value and converting it into innovation. And by doing so, knowledge management can play a dynamic role in allowing for modern organizations and institutions alike by creating knowledge in the process and remaining competitive while at it. This is especially useful when looking at big data and analytics since big data and analytics allow for contextualization of knowledge inside of an organization, we can see that big data and analytics can also push forth rapid progression and organizational success. To move on, we're going to look at the strategy and knowledge management and data management. So overall, UNT's business model is primarily centered around higher education. So with the use of analytical tools, analysts at UNT can also find context and opportunity to improve the business decisions regarding students' success. And by implementing a good knowledge management strategy, this can bring opportunities to bring value to the institution and more importantly, encourage knowledge sharing. Some of the organizational culture behind this promotes high level performance, as well as creating a competitive advantage against other schools and institutions. The, or, the organizational culture for an organization can promote values, norms, principles, also provide the institution with an identity. The development can drive the overall efficiency of an organization by driving productivity, flexibility, and innovation. To continue on this thought, the implementation of an organizational process influenced the organizational innovation, the idea that knowledge is power. And by looking at this, we have seven key points to consider. The acquisition of knowledge, the sharing of knowledge, the storing of knowledge, knowledge application, organizational innovation, administrative innovation, and technical innovation. Moving forward, we can look at the management and leadership. So when we apply all these ideas, we can see that UNT has a plethora of agreements with external providers to help strengthen knowledge base and context to UNT libraries. These initiatives allow for UNT to fund and operate the UNT libraries and keep it going and maintain it. To continue on this, we have to look at the performance provided by managerial performance, which is linked with, manager, uh, with knowledge management processes and creating the organizational culture needed for ensuring knowledge in the UNT library is successful. As we can see in the diagram to the right, we can see that the managerial performance links to knowledge management processes, which overall creates the organizational culture makeup of UNT. So the technology behind this is that the UNT libraries offers students access to articles, journals, and writing resources to be successful in drafting research papers, as well as just general research. The UNT Libraries is an example of excellent knowledge management from a organizational perspective being at work for the student. And while the website is the most important, the technology behind it, such as mobile devices, are increasingly allowing more opportunity to share and obtain knowledge. UNT Libraries captures this by giving the students options to succeed in the creation of knowledge by using a vast library of resources and articles to strengthen research and quality. As we can see to the right, we have six different sections we can look at as far as the libraries offer the students to access. So we can borrow, we can have student resources, we can also have resources to access off campus uh, VPN proxy tools. Um, for faculty, we have the uh, faculty and staff tab here, the graduate students tab, as well as the persons with disability 
there's a plethora of options we have as far as what UNT libraries offer for faculty and students alike. So with higher education students focusing on the success of students, uh, we also can look at the knowledge storage and how we access knowledge and the delivery of knowledge. And just going back to this slide here, we can see that presented in a very, very excellent way by providing us several options as far as students and fa uh, faculty alike. With these tools, UNT Libraries continues to be a successful tool to increase information communication technologies in higher education institutions. And while these, are, we, while these technologies are important to UNT, it's also important to highlight diverse knowledge inclusivity. So to look at this at a high level, while creating and sharing knowledge, it's important to make sure leadership create inclusive development environment for all knowledge aspects alike. So gathering local insight from people from diverse backgrounds allows for us to promote inclusiveness and overall more enrichment and knowledge base and knowledge uh, management in the UNT libraries. And so to conclude, as UNT continues to grow and mature tools and processes used it will evolve and make for a more accessible way to share and intake knowledge. Thank you.